Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to work with the PropTypes NPM package. Basically what it's going to allow you to do is to add some validation to the properties that you specify against your components. So you can specify what type of property, um, type of value a property should have, like should it be a number or a string. Um, you can specify whether it's required. You can specify any default values as well. So first off, I'm just going to create a really simple functional component called greeting. And what that's going to do is it's just going to say, hi, name, and the name is going to be a property. So all it's going to do is just be a simple text component, once again, that says hi, name. Oh yeah, I need to reference the actual name from the props object. So there you go, I've got my simple component. It's just a greeting that says hi name. And I'll go ahead and add it to my app so that you can sort of see the incremental updates and see how my changes to the prop types affects the component. So to my component, I'm going to specify dot prop types. And basically what that is going to be is um, an object and name is going to map to a prop types dot number initially, just because I want to show you what would happen if I had um, validation to check if it was a number but passed a string. So it's fine when I don't pass anything because I'm not requiring it. But the moment I pass in a value that doesn't match with the type that I've specified, you can see these little warnings down the bottom. So it's a little warning to the developer that they've done something a bit wrong and they can sort of see what that is. If I type in prop types dot string and say I'm expecting a string, that works correctly. And my name prop comes through. Now let's say that I want to go ahead and specify a default value. I can actually do that in a very similar way. This time I'll use that component and go dot default props. You can specify any default values for your properties here. So I've got the name and I'm going to specify world as my default. So when I go ahead and save that, it'll say hi world. Cool, that's working even though I haven't passed name in explicitly, it's using that default value from the default props. So now if I actually specify name, we're going to see that it'll tell me hi whatever name I've specified. The default value has been overridden by me passing in a property explicitly. If I go ahead and remove that, I'm going to just show you um, requiring the property. So when I've specified the property, it's all fine. But if I remove it when this property is required, it's going to give me that little error because the property is marked as required, but its value was passed in as undefined. If I fix it up by passing a property in again, it'll just clear that error. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe for more content.